Yo, what's up guys? A video on Chronicles. You know what's coming. But Chronicles is currently only released in US slash Canada and in Korea, of course. This background is so much flesh, but let's go to this one. So the thing is, how can I play Chronicles from Europe? I didn't seem like a really clear guy, but it was actually pretty easy the moment I figured it out. So let me tell you how I got to play Chronicles from Europe or anywhere outside of Canada or US. So the main thing is, you can play this game by mobile phone, but you can also play it on PC. The easiest way to play this outside of US slash Canada right now is on PC. So the main thing is, if you go to this official website, which is linked down below, you can see the pre-register button because it's not released where I'm from right now, which is the Netherlands, which is Europe. If you were to go through a VPN to this website, you can actually download the game. You do not need the VPN to play this game. You only need the VPN to download this game for uh, PC, device, like just for PC. So the easiest VPN to get for this, like you could download any VPN app you want for your PC and get that working and therefore have this to be able to download the game. But there is an easier way. And the easiest way I would say is Epic Browser. I'm pretty familiar with VPNs like throughout because I've been in China for a long time. So Epic Browser is just very simple. It's a browser with a built-in VPN. You can use that, switch your locations, use that location to actually access the site and therefore download the game. So once you go to the site, you just download it over here. Very simple. Once you all have that installed, it will look something like this. You do need this button to that is on the top right to connect it. Sometimes it's not uh, entirely enabled right here and then you have to just add it through like uh, manage extensions and with the extensions you have to enable it over here and then you will get this one over here so then you can just say like okay I want to turn it on or off and the moment you turn it off you go for uh, US West Coast for example and then if we go for the and then if we search for some of our chronicles we go to the main site which is the site that we just accessed before it's a little bit slow because VPNs in general are just always slightly slower. Instead of the pre-register, we see right now start the game and PC guide version or PC version guide. The one which you click on the PC version guide, you can actually download the installation file. Once you download that, you can install the game. You don't need to touch Epic Browser anymore. If there's any update, it will just go through the client itself and you have a client that plays uh, Chronicle as a standalone thing. As far as I know, this will also be able through Steam at some point, and maybe that makes it even easier than that. Were you that you want to play this through your phone, you can do something similar of changing your location on your Google Play account. So what I've heard, I haven't tried it. I had a little bit of issue of trying it. You can go through your um, through a VPN, then you have to change your location of your Google Play account. It is not as simple as just opening a VPN and going through the Google Play Store and downloading the game. You actually have to change the location of your Google Play account, which to my knowledge is somewhat more of a hassle. So therefore, I recommend to play it on PC and just have it running that way. So once you have that, you can just simply use this, install the game. And with that, it's just very simple to get into the game. There's like an icon on your desktop you can run the game with. It will go through some like protection things. So they actually have kind of reminds me of the old Maple story that you have like these protective things to get like anti hackers and that kind of stuff. So then the next question is, how do I like Chronicle so far? I actually do enjoy it a lot. And the reason the main reason for me why I play this right now is to a kind of learn the game, because in the end, the moment that the uh, Europe server is made, I will definitely switch to the Europe server. So then the big question is, before it was possible to switch from global server to Europe server, the moment Europe server was released, I am not sure how that is going to happen with Chronicles. And as far as I know, the people that make this stuff also are not sure yet. So there's a good option that the service at first will be kind of standalone-ish before it actually uh, goes into anything. But the thing is, I'm not sure about that yet. So for that reason, I'm mainly just playing this for the sake of learning the game. With learning the game, I just um, see what's good, see how it works, see what's running. And then the moment I get to Europe, I can actually play the game and be good at it, I guess. So also, as far as like spending for me, I will not be spending anything until uh, the Europe server is released. 
Um, but so far, I'm having a good time in the game. Like, this is one of those dungeons you actually have to play manual. Most of the stuff goes automatically. Um, I already have an Alicia that does way too much damage. And yeah, in general, I'm just having some good fun with this. Um, I played for like a day or so. Not gonna say I'm any good at this game whatsoever. I would say they upped a lot of stuff for like animations and stuff. So that that's this game looks a lot better than the previous game. So for that reason, I would say just give it a try. If it's not your game, it's not your game. Nothing wrong with that. But they have some cool stuff within this game that a lot of people actually, especially older Summoners War players, came back to and want to try and want to test. So for example, uh, Foa is playing again. I've seen OMG Bomber. I've seen uh, Claytano. I've seen so many people that are like, wow, this game is actually pretty fun. And from what I've talked to people, pretty much everyone says this game is like pretty easily to drag you into. Um, I only heard like one or two people saying like, yeah, I tried it for a few minutes. Not really my thing, like no harm feeling like by all means, just check it out and then go from there. The only difficult thing I would say about this all is at some point you're going to spend on one game, I guess. So the moment you're spending on this game, you're probably less likely to spend on Sky Arena, I would say. So that that's the only part that's going to, I would say, kind of drag away some Summoners War players towards this game rather than um keep playing summoners war because it's very hard to keep two games and spend on two games unless you have way too much money which i don't really recommend doing in the first place so for me this will definitely be uh, as far as i know a side game for me sky arena will definitely be my main game for i don't know how long um but so far so good i'm having a good time with this like definitely and yeah just Check it out, check it out. Also, let me know if you want to make more, uh, you want me to make more videos on Chronicles. I probably will do a few videos of Chronicles at some point. I really suck at this game, though. I'm so not used to playing with, like, normal buttons. I'm used to just having a chill time and clicking something, like, every 30 seconds. And But, yeah, this is some of the... Don't give me sp skip buttons, by the way, because I scam everything. I don't reject shit. So yeah, that was some of the, the, the manual content you had to do. The areas actually look pretty dope. Not gonna lie. So yeah, then you have a lot of the stuff. It goes automatically. So the moment I equip some things, it also shows you everything, like how to equip it. You have a lot of the stuff you just say auto equip and like, yep, you're done. So it makes it very easy. So the moment I just want to see... In this case, I'm hands-free. It's going to just talk to the next guy. It knows where the next guy is. So it's technically an MMO. And it's an MMO in combination with Summoner's War units. It's, I would say, somewhat between like Genshin Impact, Summoner's War, um, King's Raid. It kind of reminds me of that as well. I'm not sure if I have to do that dungeon right now. I guess I, have to, I don't have to. So yeah, it's just it plays a lot of automatic stuff. There are some manual stuff, so you cannot go full auto on everything. But a lot of stuff is audible, and therefore I think it's very enjoyable for people to play as well. Um, another big question that I will definitely get, how much is it spending-wise? Um, from what I've heard is you can pretty much spend more than in Sky Arena. But I also heard from a lot of people it's not really that necessary. So currently I didn't spend anything yet. I'm not sure how it is for like super far endgame, sure. If you want to go like super hardcore rank one, blah, blah, that kind of stuff. There's probably some asshole paying more than you and he's going to get that at a faster point. But is it impossible to get uh, free to play wise? I have no clue. Probably. I don't know. Like in all honesty, I just don't know. So, but I think you can get pretty far in this game just being free to play. In the end, in Summoners War Sky Arena, you can get pretty far free to play as well. It's just going to boost you quite some to um to pay, spend money but in the end there's two kinds of resources there's a time resource and there's a money resource if you spend a lot of time and you don't spend that much money you can get pretty far in these games on the other hand if you spend a lot of money but not that much time you can get decently far but also not that far so it's kind of a trade of like what you want to spend your stuff on but my recommendation for any of those games 
don't go right away starting spending like a crazy amount and there and then not getting the exact thing that you wanted and disliking it give it like a good try of like a few days or even weeks or even months of playing and see if you actually like the game and from there start like going into like okay do i want to spend on this or not so showed a little bit of gameplay showed a little bit of how to download this game it's actually very easy to play this game outside of europe um latency question that some people might ask i checked i have towards the us west server i had like 130 ping and towards the us uh, east server i had like 80 ping i'm not sure how bad this game would be on a high ping i assume where the moment rta comes you do need um to get close towards like 50 ping or even less games like uh, league of legends you do really notice your ping if it's a lot higher so in this game i'm not sure yet arena goes automatically rta i assume doesn't so for that reason i'm not too sure yet if the ping really matters but i do recommend the european people to play on europe server the moment europe server comes so yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and see you in the next one let me know in the comments if you're planning to play this game and if you're um and if you want to see more videos on this game as well so thanks for, thanks for watching guys and see you later